Okay, so somewhere along the line, I bumped my mouse and shut off the recording. So, but you've already seen me build the first drawer. Or this, yeah, the one drawer. So I'm still continuing with the drawer. I just have, I'm putting the parts on the, the top now. And I've moved my mouse completely out of the way, so I can't even bump it. Okay, so I'm going to burnish these down, and I need to still put on, those are too small, nothing there, so we have to cut, I have to cut two more, and I'm not sure where it bumped off at either, I guess I'll have to, I'll find out when I go back and check it out, okay. So let's do this again. We're going to finish this drawer. We've already obviously made one complete drawer, so I know you guys know what you're doing there. I just don't know where it, what I was doing when I bumped it to make it go off. But if I get my mouth far away from me where I can't even touch it, I should be good to go. Okay. Oops, too long. Too long. How many times am I going to trim it to get it to fit? There we go. That's better. Okay. And then I'm going to peel all these off. Move it down and fold it over. Move it down and fold it over. Move it down and fold it over. And then the last side. This is how you do it if you want to get all your pieces on together. And then I go inside. There. Okay. Now, I also... The first time the camera, I put the camera ran out, I went ahead and I glued these together. So this was ready so we could continue working. Because without it being glued together, we couldn't, we'd have to stop and wait. And, and uh, so now that drawer goes in there. So there, you see, I'm going to glue it onto this piece of chipboard. But I just, I had it sitting there just to help sturdy it. So see, now we have a drawer everywhere. I'll flip this back around. There's a drawer. Let's see here. There's a drawer. There's a drawer. And there's a drawer. So we have, whoops, there we go. One, two, three, four drawers. Put whatever you whatever you choose to. I have clips in mine because I do a lot of the building stuff. So I have clips in one. I have like a utility knife in one. I with along with maybe some chapstick or just miscellaneous stuff. Little miscellaneous stuff is what I put in my my drawers. So there's those. So now what I was starting to show you is let me take these out. I don't want the drawers in there. So to finish this, to finish technically to finish this off so it is what I want it to be, I take, I was showing you that I'll take and put a piece. Let me just do another one. Where's the piece that I put over here? So I'm going to take a small one that'll go down inside here and it'll flip over onto here. It'll flip over onto this up here, and it hides where these are glued together at. Okay, so this one is a little bit too long. I'll cut that off a little bit. Trim it down. No, nope. a little bit more. So it fits right down inside there, just like we, we were covering an edge. Okay, and then I'm going to put this down there. 
helpful that the piece with the paper tape paper still on it is there. I'm going to go ahead and I put that in there. I'm going to go ahead and use my bone folder to kind of burnish the edge. And then I'm going to peel the tape off of there. And then I'm going to stick it right down on top of there. So that just covers. It looks nicer than having that showing. See where it's joined together at? I like that a lot nicer. Looks like it's all one. Okay. So again, I've already got this one put on here because I did it when I built the first set. So we got to put this over. That covers that side. And then I need one on this side. Uh, okay. It's going to fit right the first time. that part down. There we go. Okay, I see I got a little piece sticking up right there. Okay, so now all of our, this is our base, and we're all glued together, okay? And like I said, I am going to take and put a piece on this, on the bottom. Just to kind of give it a finished aspect look to it. This is going to end up having a whole other coating around it, another layer of strips around it. But we're going to put this off to the side to really give it a chance to dry good. And then we're going to go on to making the next section. There, see? All four drawers fit really nice. Okay, so we're going to just set this off and let it dry for a while. Okay, so the next section is what we call the tray section. Let me see if I can. Okay, so this is mine. So the tray section is where all this stuff is sitting down inside. This here, let me get this up. This here is your tower section it's called and that's nice and deep it's seven inches deep and it gives you a place to put all your rulers or anything that stands up tall i set my crocodile in there and these trays let's see this one is pretty empty that's empty this is the shape of them okay so that's the shape that you have when you when you're done and you can put a lot of stuff in there as you can see I mean I have mine totally totally packed and this one that isn't packed is one that I put my I put all my glues and stuff in the same one they all stand up and I can get a lot of stuff in there this can go in there that my little tube of glue goes off to the side back here and this one here goes in there. So I get all my stuff in there like that. So I have all my glue just in one spot. And like I said, I have a lot of stuff that goes inside mine. So this is the part that we're building now that's going to set right on top. Okay. So this is our tray, our base. Tra uh, base, it should say tray base, but... Okay, so this is eight and an eighth by eight and an eighth. And we're going to build this the same way we built everything else. So to begin with, I'm going to take my strips and I'm going to bring them just down across the edge on all four corners, just like I did the drawers. We're going to one. 
And like I said, it's my little peasy thing, pet peeve, whatever you want to call it. But when I put on a strip, I always go straight across and do the next, that other side next. Two. Three. those four. One of the things we do need to do is we need to draw a line. We probably should have done it before, but I can still see my edge corner. We want to draw an X. X from side to side. This way. This is going to help us put our Power where our rulers and stuff goes. This is going to help us get it pretty centered. Okay, so we want to be sure you draw your X on there like that. Okay, now let's turn it over. And again, I'm pulling off all of them. And we're going to put these the sides on it. Now, if you choose these sides are eight and an eighth by three. If you want them a little bit deeper than that, you can make them as deep as you care you want to make them. It won't change anything except the dividing pieces that go inside. But even at that, I think you could go um, trying to think. Well, we went, you could go, you could go up to like six inches deep and, and it would still work. It wouldn't be very usable, but it would still work. Okay, so there's all four of the sides on. Turn this over. Burnish these down. Okay. Now, we're going to set this off to the side and we're going to bring in the, the tower itself. Okay, so this is the tower. This is the part that the rulers and stuff go in. So we have four pieces that are seven by three, just like this. Okay. We're going to take this. And again, we're going to do our, just on the long sides, you're going to attach your long sides together. You want all four of these to be attached. Like, again, no gaps between them, okay? There's those four. Now you're just going to put on one more piece. Put on one more piece on either end. It doesn't really matter which end. 
Fold this back and fold this one back and you should line up. So I'm going to pull this off. And I'm just going to take these and everything should be... I keep trying to put my fingers down in there and I can't do it. You want these to come together. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. There. There we go. Okay. So there is... And I just kind of put this inside there because you can get it in about halfway. Kind of smush it down just to make sure everything is good and stuck. So there's your tower that goes inside there. Okay. And again, I'm going to do the same way I did my drawers. I'm going to use my... I'm going to use my glossy accents and put it in there. I'm going to take on this one just because this isn't really sturdy to begin with. I'm going to go ahead and put one piece on there. Oh, this was wrong. I grabbed the wrong piece of... I sure did. These strips go to something else. Get them out of my way. So I'm going to cut this off. And then we'll angle this just because it needs to be. Okay, here's my strips. I grabbed the wrong one. Okay. So you could go ahead if you wanted to. I'm not going to do it. You could go ahead and put them all on. But you know what? Every time I do that, I seem to screw myself up. So I'm going to go ahead and put my thin bead of glossy accents in there. There. Then I see I made a mess. Got some glossy accents on there. And you can feel as you're working with this, you will be able to feel this, how it sturdies things up. Okay, so there we have our tower. And now we're going to take on the bottom, we need to put pieces across the bottom. This is what's going to secure it into the bottom of the tray. So we're going to cut these little three inch pieces. We're only going to stick on one part of it. Whoop. 
from my exacto knife in my lap. Okay. One more. Okay, so that whole, that, these are going to go down like this. We're going to take our tray like this, and you're going to use your X marks. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I didn't get mine centered right. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You're going to get your X marks like this. And then this is going to be secured down inside this way. Your corner of your tower should be right on there. It will also, you know, I mean, yes, you'll have to move it in and out to make sure. And I usually put it down like that. Then I kind of move it around and make sure that, see, there it is. That is just perfect right there where that is at. That is just where I want it to be when I secure it down. So then I'll put my hand on top of it this way, and I will lift this up. Once you get one secured down, usually that's about all you need. Now let's hope I didn't move it. No, I did just a little bit. That's okay. I'm good with that, though. Okay, so then, then you can, once you get that one down, you can go ahead, pick it up, take off the papers, set it back down, make sure your corners are on these lines again, and then just put them down. So that gives us that gives us the tower where my rulers, your rulers or anything tall can set inside there. So then, this is going to come up like this. You see it coming together? That's going to create our thing. So I'm going to take, and what did I do with I had, what are these? Are these, these or are these these? Let's see here. Look like they're those. Any more? One, two, three, four. I'm not sure. Well, you know what? Because I don't have enough anyway. So, let's see, what does this do? And a lot of times I measure and measure and measure. So many times it's unreal, but okay, exactly three inches. Oh, this is more. Hmm. This is like three and an eighth or whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to take and give me these. Give me another one of these. So three inches. Obviously, you can get four of them out of one length of strip because three can four. Okay. And we have to put the strips on the inside of the tray to close it up, just like we did with the drawer. Okay, so there's one. It's going to be good enough. Yeah. There's one. There's one.
Okay, then we got one more here. So there. One, two, three, four. I know. I'm, I'm a really bad person because I just can't handle all the mess. <laughs> I'm constantly cleaning my working table off. Okay. Now we're going to, again, we're going to close these up just like we did the other one, the drawers. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull off all of these. Okay. And bring this up to match. There we go. Oops. Uh, put my fingers down through there just to help hold it in place. Okay, there we go. There is our tray that goes on top of our drawers, like this. So there's our tray. Okay, so now your dividers are three and a half by six. Okay. I will stand my dividers up in here and make sure that this works okay. Make sure how far up they're going to come. They should all stand freely inside your corners, just like this. This is how it's going to be when you're done. Okay. It's a little bit snug, which just tells me it's not perfectly and this one, I can see this corner is off too. That's okay. You're gonna, they're going to go in with strips. So this is how you end up in the middle. Okay. So what I do, and I do this on my cutter, but they all fit. I always run it through a test drive, make sure they fit. I'm going to get me a pen. And I'm going to come up three inches because that's how tall my sides are. Now, if your sides are, say you decide to make them four inches tall, then you would come up four inches. But the six by three and a half would still be the same size. So I need to come up three inches, which is right there. And really, I should put this over this way here and do it because you, I want it on the edge because what I'm going to do, three inches. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to go from corner out here this way. I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to cut off that piece. And I'm going to do it to all of them. But once I get one cut, then I have a pattern. So I need my cutter. Okay. See, and then this, I'm going to put it down in here this way. Now, you could leave an inch out there if you want. Um, I believe that was how Debbie had her original pattern. When I made my last one, I did it this way, and I just liked it better. I don't, I, I don't know why, but I did. So this is what I did to my second one. Okay, so then I'm just going to take these down. And I'm going to draw a line on each one of them. And you're also going to need a scrap of paper here. It can be typing paper. It could be just the back of something else. Because before I in, put these in, I make a template of them. Then when I go to cut my pattern paper for, for embellishing it, then I have... Then I have a template. So there's one, two, and I'm just cutting these with my rotor trim. Oops. 
three. Four. Okay, so there's my four pieces. Then I'm going to find a stretch piece of paper somewhere. Okay, I'll just take one out of my... I'll just take a piece out of my planner here. I'll just take one of these. And then I, I will just... I usually will square it up so I have something square to, to work with. Okay. And then I go ahead and I trace this. Okay, and this is my template. So, the, and I put it off to the side. That way, when I go to paper around this, that is exactly to size. So I'll cut it out, but I'll cut it out like an eighth of an inch inside the line. That will give me enough to inset it inside. Okay, so see now these will go like this one. Two, three, and four. Just like that. And then they will, see, they will be up from the edge, just come down. So the next step for this is to go ahead and put strips on them. I didn't cut any strips for this. So these are six inches long, so we can get, we only need two. And if you decide you want your pieces to go up higher, you can make them come all the way up to the. Well, you can make them come all the way up to the top of this if you wanted them to. This is these are six inches tall, and that works just fine. Okay, so I cut these to six inches, and I'm going to cut one end at an angle. You're going to actually want eight of these. Because you're going to put them on both sides of, okay, so this is my six inch side. So I'm going to put one on this side, and then I'm going to put another one on this side, and it's going to wrap right around on both sides here. Okay, so you want two on there. So I get them, I get it on, I leave the top square, and then I just come back here and cut this down. And then that way it'll, it'll go just fine on there. Okay, so then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm only going to cut one angle. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on the other side of it. Fold this side back too, and I'm gonna then I just cut both of them off at an angle. Then they're both they're both pointed. That way they both will lay right up against there with no problem. Okay. So I need two more. What did I do with my oh here they are over here. I need two more of these. Oops, that's a short one. Okay. So I'm going to go six inches here. And I can't wait to use Tamara's heavier cardstock to see how it works. can't wait for the black stuff to come in. Okay, so there's that one. And technically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get them all ready. I hate, I hate the stopping and the prepping, the stopping and the prepping. I like to, whenever I make, if I'm making multiples or something, I usually do an assembly line type process. Because once they start putting together, that's what I want to do. So let's just go ahead and cut all of these this way. Okay. Here we go again, cleaning off the mess. Okay, so we will take and put this down over here. And I want to make sure I get the right side. I peel the right side off. Okay, there's that one. And then 
go ahead and fold them over. And cut them. There you go. Probably should cut them one at a time, not all four like that. Next time I'll do it as I put them on. Okay. Mm, this way. Okay. One more. This one. All right. Okay, so we have those on. And I actually put the, all my, I get them completely done before they go inside. Okay, so we have those. We have all four of those. And then our next step is going to be to put one on here that's going to go, see this is going to go, see if I can show you, this is going to go inside here, and then these will go, one goes on each side, one goes on each side of the corner, okay, and then we have to have one in here, on here that comes out and attaches to the, to the side here, so now what we have to do we're going to take and do these, and these are like three inches tall, so probably you could probably just do one, two, it's an extra one, Let's see here. So we're going to need eight of these, three, four, Okay, we're going to start with those. And again, really, you only need to have the bottom one. Give me my exact one. There you go. You only really need to have the bottom one angled. Okay, the top can just stay straight like that. One. So see, there's our piece that's going to go inside on the inside of here. Okay. We end up covering this whole thing. Then we end up putting a piece here, down here. So we can take a piece. We're going to measure this. Where's my ruler? Here it is. We're going to measure this. And this is there. Pull this back to see where I need to end it at. Okay, so there to there is four, it's like four and five eighths. I'm going to just read the ruler upside down. Four and five eighths, okay? So I want four pieces that are four and five eighths. I'm going to do those on my cutter real quick. Let's see, four, five, eight. Four. I hope if I could pick it up. Okay, 
here is Lauren Friday. Now, I'm going to cut an angle like this. I'm going to cut a little bit of an angle on this one, too. So then, I do this down this way. Oh, I see what I need to do. It's got to be, before you go sticking it down, you want to make sure that this angle is right on your fold of this because this still needs to open up. So you want to make sure that this angle right here is right on that. And you should, once you know that that one side is correct, it should wrap around just fine. Look, there's a bubble in my... Okay. There we go. And then again, always try to flatten out your parts there. So see, this is this way. Then all we have to do is put two pieces across the bottom. And those will have to be cut at a pretty good angle too. Okay, so these are four and five eighths. So let's go ahead. Oh, what was I doing here? Those pieces I need. I believe this one here is too small. I end up burying all my pieces inside the stuff. So, okay. So these are the four and five eighths. These are the other pieces. So let's just go ahead and put this up. That one's too small. That doesn't work. What are all these are too small? That's too small. This one works. Okay. So let's get these on. And I would put these on before, put these on before we put on the other ones. This one here, too short. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I know. I've got them mixed up again. Figures. Those pieces probably go across the top of this, the top of the tower. I betcha. And now I just peeled the wrong side of the paper off. Do this side. Okay. So those will go there. And then this one here needs to go just a hair more. And that's what I would do. Just keep trying it and trying it until you get it to where it works. Because these need to be able to open right here. If this doesn't open smoothly and easy, it's not. It's going to just bind you up when you go to put them in. There's that one, and I see this is just a tad bit taller. I'm going to angle this a little bit more. There we go. Okay, didn't check that on this other one. Let's see. I am going to go ahead and angle. Whoops, 
and angle this piece down just on the outside not inside here just on the outside out there so when this goes in here slides right down in there it's going to hook into that corner and that's going to hook into there like that so then the only other pieces we're going to need are on the bottom but let's go ahead because i have a tendency to make assembly line stuff let's go ahead and do this next one i think i need more uh, what are these does this fit probably not Yeah, but, oh, these go one, two, three, these go corners. One, two, three, these are outside corners. This must be an outside corner. Nope, that's too tall for an outside corner. Okay, now well, I'm going to clip these together so that I don't lose track of them. All right, this goes one of these goes on here, so let's, no, we don't want to do that. We want to do these pieces first. So that's a good one. So we're going to go one, and I need two for the other one. Two, oh, I cut that one too short. Okay, there's two for there and two for there. One of these and one of those. All right, so I'm just going to cut angle on this. And this, because I want the angles at the bottom. Okay, and then on this one, this one goes down here. one ended up being too small. I don't know why, but I did it. Well, I mean, I probably grabbed the wrong piece or something again. Must have, which is this one's fine. Okay, so there's those. And then we're going to have this go on here. I think we're going to be okie dokie at it. Yep. Okay, so we need to, I'm just going to barely cut that off. I think I can cut it off down below if I need it. Okay. that off to do another one. It's too short. This one's good. Okay, so let's just not take anything off there. Let me see. This needs to go that way. Okay. <laughs> and I peeled off the wrong side again. Urgh. Okay, so off this side, because this has to stick down here. Okay. There. All right, now this, there we go. That covers it up. And we're just going to go ahead and snip because we need to snip this down a little bit more too. Okay. okay. One, two, three. Where's the other ones? There they are. All right. Now does this go? This goes. So I need one more. Is this one the same height? No. 
Make sure you peel the right side off this time. Okay. So remember, when you're putting these pieces on, you don't angle the top up here. You just angle the bottom down here. Okay. And we're going to put this one on. Okay. I cut a good and for this one here you don't want to cut when you measure this you don't want to cut into the fold come right out at the top of the fold because otherwise you will find a lot of times if you don't do that you've shortened it because you've cut off some of the fold so you don't definitely don't want to do that Try to crease this down. It kind of helps you. Okay, and then see once. If you didn't leave this square and you cut this at an angle, you would take a chance of having some of your chipboard show. That's why I say to go ahead and leave it. And then you cut this piece off at an angle out here. So see, so you cut that off at an angle. But this piece that comes in on your chipboard right here, you're going to leave that straight. Okay, now, okay, so the only other thing now we have to put on here before we're ready to assemble these guys is we need to put a piece across the bottom. And this really should be three and a half inches across the bottom, and it is. So let's go three and a half. I mean, if you want to pull your cutter out and cut them, you can. I do a lot of this way when I'm working because it's a pain in the butt to set the cutter out all the time. It's in my way. You know, it's just a pain for me. So I don't. I don't usually do it, so three and a half. And I cannot tell you how many strips it took, 12 inch strips it takes to make this because when I do mine, like I said in the beginning, um, I just take mine and I sit and do a whole package of paper, or two packages of paper, <laughs> whatever. I just get me a bunch, and then I rubber band them together. I get the little rubber bands, like what you would buy to put ponytails and little girls' hair with. Um, oh, shoot, we need eight of these. I get the little rubber bands, and I package them in 25 once the tape is on them. Then I package them in packages of 25. And I'm getting to the point, I think I only have one package of them left. So I'm actually going to be time to sit down and do it again. Okay, so let's see. Now I need four more of those. I need three and a half. I'm gonna oh I got two pieces right here. Three and a half. One. So there's two four. So I need it for. These are scraps. Again, you have to put these on both sides of the bottom piece because you're going to stick them both sides down. And the easier 
The more centered you get that, the easier it will be for you to slide these pieces in. Because you have to peel the tape off of these when you get ready to slide them in. You can't put them in place and then peel the tape very... You can, but it's not very easy to do. So if you can get this more centered, your tower is in the center. The better and easier these will go in for you. Okay. Let's go here. Where am I at? Minute wise, coming up on another whole another hour. I'm almost thinking that this is going to make one all one video out of it, but I don't know. I keep saving it as part one, part two, part three, because I don't know how it's saving it. So I think if I, if I get these done and I have time left, I'm just going to go ahead and stop that and make it be do another part so we don't get interrupted putting them putting it together. And one more should finish it. And I'm sure the decorating part everybody can kind of do on their own, I'm assuming. I will tell you the one I did that I posted in the group um, Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creation. Um, when I did that one, it, it uses four pieces. I used four pieces of the same paper to go around the front to make them all match. I had I had four pieces of the same thing. They were miscellaneous papers, but I had four of the same one. I had bought a group from Tamara that was I don't know supposed to be 100 sheets from Heartfelt Creations for like 25 bucks, and I bought one of those, and that's what I used. Okay, so here we are. One, two three, four. Okay. So here's our four pieces. I'm going to stop this and come back to put it together so we don't get interrupted. So I will be back in part three or four. I can't remember.